Let's go. So this is the GT theremin. Uh, the theremin is an instrument that was invented in around 1920 by a Russian scientist named Leon Theremin. We're going to show you how it works. So I'll go ahead and switch, flip the power on. As you can see, it's an entirely vacuum tube driven design. They're heating up now. The uh, blue LEDs indicate that the power supply is coming up to full voltage. We'll go ahead and show you what it looks like on the inside. All of the circuitry is assembled on these four protoboards, uh, two stacked on each side, and between them is separated by a copper ground plane, which reduces the RF coupling between the boards. Now we'll close it up and give you a quick demo of how the theremin works. We have the theremin's output connected directly to a typical guitar amplifier you can see down here. although you could connect it to any audio equipment of your choice, effects pedals or a recording system, whatever you like. What I'm now inserting into the theremin is the pitch antenna. We also have this loop over here which serves as the volume antenna. By getting my hand closer to the pitch antenna, I'll increase the pitch that the theremin outputs, and by getting my hand close to the volume antenna, I'll increase the volume. Let me go ahead and unmute it for you. And I'm just going to tune it a little bit to compensate for my playing stance. The tuning controls adjust oscillators which are internal to the theremin and uh, allow me to play in the stance. If I stand farther away or closer to the theremin, I need to adjust the tuning just a little bit to get it to play about how I want. So if I hold my um, volume hand steady over the volume antenna and move my hand closer to the pitch, you'll hear a sound starting to play and increasing in frequency. Likewise, if I hold my right pitch hand at a fairly steady distance from the pitch antenna and move my volume hand, you'll hear the, a single tone increasing in volume. By combining pitch and volume control, you can quickly see where some 50s and 60s sci-fi movie sound effects came from. You'll notice that there's no frets or keys on the theremin. It's played entirely without having to touch anything. So it's quite difficult to learn how to play. You mostly need to rely on, your, on the pitch that your ears detect and your muscle memory. Uh, I'm currently unable to play you much of a song. That's why I was just producing sound effects with a lot of tremolo. But there are people uh, that have learned how to play the theremin with some proficiency. Well, this is our GT theremin that we've built over the past few weeks. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it.